Hey everybody, welcome to The Rock Oath. We are now on episode two, and thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Mike Schoen from 22 Salute, and uh, today we got a, um, a double headliner show. Uh, we have the man, Brad Barry, hey. on the show here. Um, and then uh, we'll get, we're going to get into Brad telling him a little about himself, and we also have Jay... Uh, oh, no, Ra Raul Padilla, a.k.a. Jay. Jay, just Jay. Jay. I don't want to. You don't want to? You don't want to? Okay, <laughs> yeah, so we have Jay. <laughs> and then at Couch Contributor today, we have the one, the only, Brent Anton. I said my last name wrong. Good gosh, Anton. Is it Anton? Yep. Okay. Anton, Anton. <laughs> How Does dare it, you? Okay, whatever. So <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, so double headline show today. Um... We're going to get into some really good stuff. Um, I'm going to bring up the set list real quick, and then we will get rolling. Um, uh, today, we are going to talk about, um, we're going to go, excuse me, here. We are going, oh, let's see. Starting off with the Grammys. We're going to skin that real quick. I have to check my set list here. Uh, we're going to talk about the Grammys a little bit. We're going to talk about Bird Berry Studios. Cool. Have you ever, right. you ever heard of that? Yeah, nope. No, really? No, don't okay, want to yeah, either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the uh, Justice League Snyder Cut um, that just came out recently yeah. on HBO, right, Max? Beautiful. Um, we're going to talk about, on the set list today, we're going to talk about the worst tones in popular music, drums, guitars, vocals, <laughs> that are famous regardless of how bad the tone is. It could, I'm right. sure you guys got yeah, some stuff right. on that. Um, we're going to talk about... Uh, for fun, when we get later on in the podcast, we're going to talk about our favorite video games, retro, old school, and also more modern games. I think we all yeah, can. Yeah, we've all, we all have a little. Uh, we're all pretty sweaty about that type. Yeah, of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. You get, you get excited about yeah. that. So, and then we are going to talk about. Um, uh, my, I had a funny visit at Guitar Center Thursday morning. We're going to talk about that story. <laughs> There's never anything good that comes out of Guitar Center. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to talk about my Guitar store, uh, my uh, Guitar Center venture I had. Um, it was actually pretty funny. I can't wait to get to that story. And then we're going to do the brewery rate. And the brewery rate is what we do every episode and what we're going to do every episode. And we're going to rate a local brewery on their beer. Uh, and we're going to rate it uh, from 1 to 10. And then we're going to get an average and uh, see, you know, you know, and then we're going to, I don't know if we're going to stack it up against last last episodes, but we'll figure that out. And then we're going to close off with uh, plugins and what's going on with everyone in the future. So, but before we do all that, we're going to um, learn about, uh, about the headliners today. Uh, Brad, uh, would you please tell us a little bit about yourself, bro? Yeah, uh, just a regular dude, you know, uh, started out doing mixing stuff a while back, um, mixing, recording, producing, that whole yeah. kind of thing. Um, used to play in a band and then just kind of. I don't know, found an interest in recording yeah. and uh, opened up the studio now about like a year and, I don't know, a half or something like that. A year and a half? Yeah, Here something go. like that. And uh, it's out in uh, San Bernardino, um, record a lot of local bands, sometimes get clients, you know, sending me mixes and stuff uh, through email. Okay. Um, before that, I uh, worked at a Larrabee Studios. Um, you know, a lot of top pop artists used to work in, there. In uh, Los there. Angeles, right? Yeah, in L.A., yeah. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, so just doing my own thing and uh, just rock and rolling. Right on. Yeah, yeah Brad, Brad uh, he owns a Bird Bird, uh, Birdberry Studios, San Bernardino. Um, actually, 22 Salute uh, records there. Um, and uh, it's pretty good times over there, yeah. man. We yeah, do. it's a lot of fun. We yeah. have a lot of good times. And Brad does great, great work Thank with you. everyone and Legendary. ourselves included. <laughs> Legendary. Thank you. And it's only going to go up from here. I know that. Yep. All right. And then uh, we have Mr. Jay. Jay, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am the drummer for 22 Salute. You might have heard of that band. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. uh, pretty much, um, yeah, just like, just, yeah, just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like another regular dude, really. <laughs> you know, I can't. I just, there's, there's nothing, nothing too, too much. <laughs> you know, I just love playing well, video games. Love yeah. drumming. So I'll, I'll help you out there. <laughs> Jay is a really good drummer. I'm not just saying yeah. that because he's in our band. And he's a very smart guy. He's uh he's he he knows when to talk. He's actually kind of, yeah, I would say reserved. reserved. Yeah, a little yeah, reserved. reserved yeah. But you're funny when you get going. Just Jay's, chill guy, chill yeah, guy. yeah. Joe's really cool. Okay, and uh, unfortunately, I have to ask Brent Atwan. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah. so, so Brent is Cal's contributor, and as you know from last episode or first episode, 
we try to give as much crap as we can to them because they deserve it. I mean, yeah. they're not they don't get to play with the big boys up here. Especially when they want to correct their last name. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, who does that? Yeah. Who does that? Oh, you had to be there. Yeah. <laughs> who you corrects know, their last uh, name? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a beautiful last name, okay? <laughs> yeah. oh, is, it, is it Anton again? Is it Anton? It's Anton, yes. It's Anton as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> How dare you? Anyways, we just met today. No, we love <laughs> Hey Brent, Brent, we love you, but because you're on the couch, you're going to get everything you deserve. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> Is that the right? Is that the real B word you wanted to use right there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, don't push me, Mike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh God. Okay, Brent. Seriously, tell us a little about yourself, bro. All right, man. Well, you know, I'm just a local metalhead into all things metal. You know, known uh, Mike here for a few years, hanging out, watched a couple shows of the band. You know, just a good friend, and uh, just glad to be here, hanging out. Yeah. Awesome. Brent's a good guy, by the way. Um, he 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 acts like an asshole kind of once in a while. Oh man! But no. Hey, by the way, Brent is a very good saxophone player. I want everyone oh. to know. Very good, actually. He just plays by ear. He just goes like you know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of like uh, like they, he's the king of cool almost. He's cool. he's almost like. Uh, no, I'm just you said you you've known Mike for how long? A few years. Do you feel like you've aged in those few years a lot? I do. I've become a really old man. Yeah, I definitely feel Excuse older me. than I should be. <laughs> no, Mike, yeah, no. just you know, a few years on top, you know, stacked on top there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so no, we got a we got a good uh, we got a good crew here today. Uh, oh, we got and also we got um, we got Anthony and Ryan on the tech team right here today again. Thank you guys for taking your time out for us. Appreciate it as always. Thank you. Yeah, man. And um, all right, so we're gonna get on with the set list, guys. Here we go. Cool. First off, we're gonna be talking about the Grammys, and we're gonna skin this because I don't have a I don't have a million things to say. I'm just gonna state some facts. We'll talk about the Grammys, which happened on March 14th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. I'm not sure if that's where they always do it. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know if it's like yeah. the Super Bowl where they move around. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'd imagine so, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, the host <laughs> host was Trevor Noah. And then, uh, <laughs> sorry, let's look at Brad. Brad, he's making faces. All right, uh, let's go on with this. Uh, Beyonce had nine nominations. She won four. That was a big thing. Taylor Swift, uh, she um, she had six nominations. She won Album of the Year, and it, uh, I think it's her third time winning Album of the Year, which is like a record or something like that, I believe. It's like uh, history was made, or at least for a female, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Dua Lipa, is that? Uh, yeah, is that yeah, it? Yeah, okay, pretty much it. Uh, she um, six nominations. That is a she, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I don't know <laughs> the artist. I, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, and then Roddy Rich had six nominations as well. You guys know about Roddy Rich? Mm -hmm. What's he yeah. do? Uh, he's a rapper. Oh, uh, is he? Okay, yeah, he's pretty good. Really? Like okay, yeah, cool. Uh, I actually met him uh, at Larrabee. When you I was did? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brad, pretty, yeah, Brad, pretty, pretty nice guy. Really. Mm -hmm. Brad worked at Larrabee uh, Studio in L.A., so he's, yeah. he saw some big stuff. He was yeah. that's pretty that's cool that yeah, you he, have he's that. He's a cool dude too. That's so, sick. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, so uh, were there any more yeah. winners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, uh, Billie Eilish won Record of the Year cool. uh, with Everything I Wanted. Now I get confused because there's Song of the Year, Album of the Year, and Record of the Year. Now the record that's the thing that I'm not just, yeah. I'm not sure what what's that if the difference. I should know. I What's feel that? embarrassed that I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. I should have I should have researched that so much for a host, record, right? Jeez. Album, which one is it? You know. What's that? I said record or the album? Like it's the same. Thing record, album, it? song. Well, record could be anything. Albums an album and a song's a song. I don't know. Cause this is yeah. this. My brain's hurting. I can't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, because Taylor Swift won uh, album of the year with her album Folklore. So and then uh, Billy Eilish won record of the year. So with everything I wanted. Now I don't know. If I don't know. I huh. I don't mind Billie Eilish, but I don't know enough about if that's her record or if that's her song. Yeah, I, yeah. Interesting. Sorry, and when watching's like, are you dumb? <laughs> so Good with the times, bro. Yeah, I know. Everything <laughs> I wanted is just a song. Bro. It is a song. Okay, I thought that's, so. That's what. It, yeah, that's what. Okay, we were so about song. That okay, but song yeah. of the year is I Can't Breathe, uh, Durst, Emil, Her, and Tierra Thomas. So that was song of the year. Best new artist, Megan The Stallion. Best pop solo performance, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. Is uh, do you know that song or? Mm, I'm familiar of. with it, yeah. Okay, best rock album, The Strokes, with the new Abnormal. I haven't heard much from The Strokes See, since. The, stro the Strokes are actually pretty good, not bad. No, I don't mind The Strokes. I haven't more, heard more much from old school. Yeah, I haven't heard much from them though since. I, I mean, you know, it's funny. You hear a lot about bands or groups like in the in the early 2000s or even 90s, and you're like, I guess they're gone, but they're not. They're like just yeah. underground doing their thing, and yeah. I'm, you wonder if they're making like 
really good music. I mean, great music that just never gets in the mainstream, you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the times always change. Yeah. Right? And especially right now, rock is... Is in the back burner. Oh, yeah. Rock is yeah. dead right now. Well, we know? talked about that. Last. It's yeah. not dead. It's just very back. It's very dormant. It's yeah, lying super yeah, yeah. dormant. But that happens all the time, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, okay. So that's the Grammys. I guess there was a, a controversial performance yeah. by Cardi B. Oh, I didn't see God. it. I just see the I just see the pictures of them like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Family entertainment, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> look, I, I think overall, like, it just, like, it's a symbol of the culture, um, and I think we should kind of open. Everyone should kind of open our eyes and see like the things that are, you know, I don't know, just taken a little too far in in everything and yeah. TV, movie, all, all that. Um, I think that everyone just kind of needs to just breathe a little bit, step st- back, step back a little bit, and just you know get some class. Yeah, I agree. By the way, yeah. the, the thing the thing I say I, I've heard a lot of people go well. Then don't you let your kids watch it. It's like, guys, you do realize that we we have to have a combined effort yeah. that kids are going to get into a lot of stuff. Well, well, so, and, and let's so, not and let's not pretend that this isn't geared not at not, the youth. It's not, oh. it's not geared towards children, but it's definitely I geared mean, who, at the youth. Who, who's I mean, listening to the newer I mean, music? Middle, the middle, youth. middle school and high oh, school yeah. kids are definitely listening to it. Yeah. My Although, sisters. yeah, I yeah. mean, and I, I I have no problem with like parents should take charge in what their you know kids are watching, seeing, doing, yeah. all that. Of course. But let's also not pretend that all this new stuff isn't geared towards the youth. Yeah, I mean, that's that, who's listening. That's to an excuse for like so, yeah. it's for adults. It's like, dude, first off, the Grammys is not just for adults. It, it shouldn't be. It doesn't no, it have, to, have be. to be. It could go either way. Yeah, but. and then and then just like anything, like I think we should be not. If you're acting like oh. Kids, this isn't aimed at kids. Like you're stupid because obviously it, it, it that's what it's aimed. Music is always aimed at the youth. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I, I, I just think they should just be classy and just do the music. Just, just, just. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it just it just shows you that it's not like it's not just about like the music anymore. Now it's about like you know what catches edgy. the eye. It's always been about. It's being not about edgy. the ear anymore. Yeah, it's, it's about the eye. You yeah. know. It's a, there. There has always been a need to like. Do something shocking for shock value. Since Elvis, basically. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Beatles, Elvis, all that stuff. I mean, yeah. before that, you had Frank Sinatra. Yeah. And, oh, was he you know, pretty uh, controversial? Or? He, no, no, but but what I'm saying is, like, everything up to Frank Sinatra had a different um, – I'm not going to say a standard, but it had it had a whole different uh, – Class? Co- cultural relevance. Okay. Um, you know, Frank Sinatra was, was the – you know, they were all like the Rat Pack. They were all edgy for their time, but there yeah. was there. It was it was only a minimal jump. Then once you got to Elvis, then it was a huge jump, and then moving the hips, and then yeah, and then yeah, exactly, and then going to the Beatles, um, and then it's just it's been a a down we're downhill spiral since yeah, then. Yeah, you know, music is great. Don't get me wrong. Oh no, no. you know, yeah, but, the, mu- the music for the most part is always yeah, kept pretty good. Yeah, yeah, but but I think there is a clear line between. What was I'm not gonna say appropriate because obviously things kind of change and certain things back then were a little, little too stuffy maybe. Yeah. But there was there's no acknowledgement of where a line is. Yeah, there needs to be. So, yeah. There, no. There, depends. I, I forgot I forgot who said it. Um, but there's a philosopher that said something along the lines of like, maybe it was Nietzsche or something, but, uh, he said something to the effect of like art needs boundaries because with those boundaries create creates the art. So yeah, basically, oh, like if there's no line, then it's just a bunch of shock value. But if you have the line, then that allows for the shock or for the yeah. growth. I've, you know? I've I've always I've always admired. I mean, obviously, I listen to music that has like swearing in it. But like, yeah, of course. I've 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 always noticed that like music that that good songs that don't require to you know drop f bombs or whatever, mm-hmm. you can see an art in that. Like for instance, a great example like uh, uh, Linkin Park's first two albums, right? Okay. Not one swear word on. I don't yeah. think on any of those. And like those are their best albums, okay. I think, in my okay. opinion. Okay. I'm like yeah. they didn't, and I don't think anyone thinks about that. And then there's a lot of music that doesn't have it. But yeah, like you got a lot of heart and emotion already. Yeah, you don't yeah. Need anything I think sometimes, it. sometimes it's not. It's obviously not Kaba, but sometimes it's 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 like a it's a move to get. Um, what's the woman saying? It's a. Uh, it's it's a uh, uh, you, you're doing it to bring shock to it, or yeah, like yeah, even yeah. at like, a concert, you know, like it, like if you if you could do it without that. By the way, I don't care if you do. It. I listen yeah, to all yeah, kinds yeah, of that stuff. But yeah, if you yeah. can do it without it, I mean, that's 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 another angle, and still yeah. bring that emotion out. That's yeah, yeah. the like like f bombs, for example, are like the Twitter of lyrics. By the way, so, we get one in this episode. Okay, <laughs> only one. Ooh, get to see Jay, it. don't don't re- waste it yet. 
Yeah. <laughs> do we each get one or just no? One there's for the only whole show. <laughs> Did you just say it? <laughs> no, I said, do we each get one or is it one for the whole? Show? Are they or do we get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like I'm just kidding. There's no, there's no. I, I was just being funny. Yeah, here. but when it comes to like f bombs, right? F bombs are like Twitter. So like, you have an f bomb, and you have to condense all your thought into one word, much like Twitter is for like a thesis. So yeah. you're con- you're putting all your thoughts into what 250 characters on Twitter. Yeah. It's the same thing with an f bomb. It's a lot better to be able to describe the emotion, the feeling, and take out the f bomb and put the lyrics to show in. Yeah, more like, art and and yeah, and, yeah. and brain and dude like brain any, power. Yeah. Any any six year old can swear. Well, and and the like, thing yeah, too is it's not is, very. F bombs are and and just curse words in general are, are thrown in there because they're one syllable. So anytime you're having a hard time writing something for that stanza you for the song, s- s- you, <laughs> you're just gonna throw it in there just to fill up that extra syllable I mean, you that got, you couldn't you write. That, you Unless you that, say uh, "son of it," what's that? Well, I was just saying, like also like in breakdowns in metal, like you know they always have the right when he hits that like China symbol. <laughs> But, okay. Yeah. I mean, and there's times for it too, of course. You oh know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I mean, well, anyway, what we're getting at, I guess, going back, it's not like to be, the be super clean all the time. Yeah, you know, no, I mean, you don't have to be. Have uh, it's like you must yeah. be perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't give a poop. So. <laughs> yeah, that'll sell it. <laughs> that'll sell. Uh, anyways, uh, I did hear, I did hear that um, uh, Kids Bop is gonna do WAP. Um, oh, they've already. Is that a joke? Because I thought it was a meme. <laughs> I saw a meme on it. And I was like, No, I ain't doing WAP. I was sitting in my bed, you know, three in the morning. Like, do you got to talk about yeah. that meme that you posted the other day? Yeah, it's like it's like uh, kids bop riders trying yeah. to see how they're gonna work <laughs> yeah. with the ride out. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Stressing yeah. out, dude. <laughs> Stressing out. Anyways, back to the Grammys. Uh, I didn't even watch it. I don't. I, I I never really do. But I don't think it's. I don't necessarily think it's because of content. I think it's because like no one watches cable anymore. Is that well, was that, that, that? I would yeah. say that's, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but no, I mean, I didn't even see that performance. I, apparently, though, it was pretty bad, and you know. I'm not. I'm not all for you know. Like keep on trying to trying to be edgy and keep going to the yeah. next. Round. I'm like, come on, guys. Like let's let's get a little smart. I mean, let's let's use our intelligence more than like, oh how, oh we would get naked on stage yeah. now. It's like who, it's, I don't know. It's, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if they move the Grammy straight to just like a list, and when they come out with it, like oh one day it'll be like on a on a just a list. Yeah, yeah it might not even be a, a show. It'll sold on uh, Disney Plus for thirty bucks yeah. for yeah. <laughs> Disney Plus Premium. <laughs> Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Watch the WAP performance next to move on. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, that's the Grammys for you. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next yeah. uh, the next the next thing on the set list. Um by the way, for y'all watching, we are recording in the early in the morning in yeah. sunny Rancho Cucamonga. Brad had a Jesus hard time. Jesus Christ, man. Uh. Br- Brad had a hard time this morning. Tell us so about wakey, your wakey. Tell us about your morning, dude. Well, yeah, basically went to I was working last night till about three in the morning, and then we had originally planned for the morning time. Then mm-hmm. you told me, "Oh, well, d- we could do it a little bit later." I was like, "Sweet!" So then I scheduled my work time, <laughs> and the whole uh, I was bitter yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bitter, but we're all good. Hey, <laughs> I told you we could have went later, but Jay and uh, uh, Jay and Brent have to get rolling. So. Oh, so that's who's tired of getting. Sleep. So wake up! Yeah. So I got two Red Bulls in me now. So. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the Grammys. You know, I don't want to be that person that hates on the Grammys too much because I, I used to watch them, and you know, I, I think just because um, I think you know, there's just cable, and uh, you have yeah, a little, that's what it is. You have a little political tension, of course. Let's not yeah. ignore that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's it. cable too. Uh, and by the way, uh, Billie it. Eilish, uh, winning record of the year. That's cool. Actually, I have students that like to learn her music, and she's yeah. she's cool. Um, she's kind of reminds me of like a not I like not Lance Morissette necessarily, but kind of that. Well, um, yeah, vibe, yeah, yeah, dark vibe, too. darker well, vibe. Yeah, you know, the yeah. the you could you could not like music the certain music, but you could respect the artist, right? Oh yeah. With Billie Eilish, we all like, especially like local bands, should look up to Billie Eilish in a way because it was from bedroom to Grammys. Yeah. I mean, when, whenever has that happened? You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, it it really is a changing point of like, hey, you could really produce your own music. Yeah. Um, Did she produce her own stuff, or was the, it? Yeah, the, the brother. Her and her brother. Her brother Phineas. Yeah. Really? Now, was yeah. he in the industry, or were they just? No, like, no, they were just really. Yeah, normal dudes. He, right? he now has his own career too. Yeah. Phineas. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, no, I, so I, I've everyone should. Her. Yeah, Absolutely. everyone should kind of like I've, look into that. Do you, do you know what I think it is? A lot of times, every generation they 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 already like what they grew up with, and they hear about new stuff like, oh, this, oh god, it's stupid. There's you know? definitely that. That's yeah. always that. But no, I think that's cool that she won. Um. 
I like I said, the metal category, Brent. What do you think about that, man? Well, dude, they, Billie Eilish actually has a lot of respect in the metal community, just because also that dark vibe. She's not. She's doing something different. Yeah. You know, and like I've seen a lot of metal artists come out and Poppy. say like, that they are they are they they respect it at least you know like like all music. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, but what about the metal and the Grammys, though, just in general? Oh, metal and the Grammys? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, metal is definitely underrepresented for sure. It's a, like where he was saying earlier, rock's dying. Metal for sure is actually growing. And, yeah. uh, you know, we got we got one category. It's best metal performance, and that was body count. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's so many other bands out there, but, you know, that's, like, the closest, like, because it has rap influence. So yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, it's. I mean, it's cool. Rock and metal are underrepresented, but you know, like I said everything comes around. Who knows what's gonna happen in five years? You don't know. It could yeah. be anything. Well, and then and then the other thing too is like, even in pop music, you can hear rock influence. Oh yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So like, uh, you don't need guitars for it to be rock. That's a that's a big misconception. You don't yeah. need. You know, it's all about it's the, the energy and beat. The energy, the beat. You know, yeah. and Style. so yeah. So I mean, you can have rock, but without guitars. You know. Yeah, I hear you. I believe. Yeah. Uh, Jay, anything on the uh, Grammys? Anything you want to put nope. in there? <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for that contribution. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. So um, next on the set list, we have Birdberry Studios. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Uh, yeah. it's a stu- <laughs> yeah. uh, so anyways, no. Yeah. Um, Brad, uh, Brad owns it. He's the uh, producer and engineer there. Tell us about uh, – I mean, you tell us a little more in depth about what um, – what you do there, and then tell us about the goals of it. How about that? All right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I do everything from, you know, obviously recording, uh, also mixing, and, you know, mastering as well. Yep. Um, I've grown a little bit in terms of gear um, mm-hmm. since I started, uh, you know, since I actually opened it instead of working at an apartment. I got, got some new gear, um, helped out a little bit, but honestly, the bigger thing is just doing this, every day as my full-time job yeah taught me so much um oh, yeah, you're always at it dude i'm there like i mean and that's the other thing too so i guess this is i'll try to make this like inspirational i guess yeah um you know for me it's like i quit larabee and i was like oh man what am i gonna do for money right yeah. um i had already been doing mixing stuff prior to quitting but i just took the jump i was like you know i'm just gonna do it this is what i want to do <clears throat> Um, hey, it's and out. yeah, and then you know, it's I, I, I would like for people to just do what they want to do. I mean, we just had COVID, right? This whole thing of of the coof, and uh, yes. you know, if you're not doing and if you're not <laughs> doing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you're and if you're not doing what you want to do during that time that you had off, then you don't want to do it, yeah, right? Like, we had all this time, people were laid off, not doing anything, just sitting around collecting, you know, a stimulus check. Whatever unemployment, St- stimmies. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> if, like, like my mentality is like, hey, you just had all this time, and and some people still kind of do, do what you want to do now, since now, like, you have no excuse. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. So I like I, I want to see people, you know, get inspired, um, and that that's kind of like, I'll be honest, like that's kind of like every time I have a band in there, uh, at the studio and all that, it's always like kind of a small topic, like. I always tell people I do this full time, and it's not just to like you know brag or anything. So it's to get people to like, so hey, I could do this. Jump in, jump yeah, all to jump in, in yeah. do whatever you yeah. want to do. I think, I Brad, I I think I think we click click with you really well because just me, Mark, and Jay, we're doing the same thing. We're like, yeah, 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 we're yeah. all in. We're not we're not just like oh, it's a little side hobby. Like, no. we're all trying to make this happen, and yeah. we all have our heart in it. And yeah. and those people. And you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't take that jump. I mean, to us, this is natural now. I'm not bragging, but I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. It, it's kind of all I know. But, like, it's actually, like, it's it's not as common as you would think. So I think when people do that, they, they really can connect. And they say, hey, this is, a, like, yeah. a, you're going, you're on a, vent, uh, you're on a, a, a journey, man. Yeah. And, and it, it could blow up or it could yeah. sink, Making you know? Making your dream a reality, dude. Yeah, That's it, the hard part. Yeah. Make your dreams a reality. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I would definitely, like, my big thing at that studio is obviously, like, you know, just as more clients come in, I get more experience. Yeah. Um, and it's it's really an art form. It's, yeah. like, with mixing and stuff like that, It's it literally is not something you can learn overnight. No, like, dude. No. You know, I s- like, like, I yeah, play guitar no a little bit in here, here yeah. and there. And, like, you know, once you understand, like, to create, like, a G or a D chord, your fingers, that's it. It will always be a D chord. You could alternate the strumming and all that. Yeah. But to, from mixing, it's just like, where do you begin? You yeah. know, you just have to yeah. just do it 
and over. Yeah. And, and you have to obsess about it. Yep. Repetition. And, and uh, my days are at least yeah. 12 hour, 14 yeah. days, six days at least yeah. a week. I can vouch for Brad talking. He, uh, he, um, I, 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 he's there all the time in the studio. Like, e- even when he's not recording, he's there. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's just doing, so it's like, dating, bro. like, no, and he's getting better as craft. So like, I, I'm happy that we're growing with you too. Yeah, so like, you. it's yeah. just, it's oh, just, it's been a blast, dude. dude, we've got, we've been going for what, since 2016, 17. Like that, dude. Yeah. yeah. So we've been around a while. He's recorded everything from what answer me all the way to now. now yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. um, uh, yeah. And it's cool too. Cause we've gotten to a point now where like, we're, if we track a song, right. Yeah. It's gotten to a point now where it's like, it'll just be Jay. Like you yeah. guys understand, like you know, like like not, like, like not everyone has to be there. Be the, all yeah, the time. yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. fun, and and I, I love when people are there. But it yeah. is like I've noticed that the more people that record, you know, more often. Yeah. It gets to a point of like, okay, Jay will go in there, knock out the well, dumb tracks, and, we, yeah. and it helps dial in the focus yeah. as well. And we also start uh, understanding this underground language uh-huh. with, yeah, yeah, with yeah. not just talking, just knowing what we. So yeah. it, it's it's. Really... I'm, no, I'm no longer speaking in tongues to you anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand Mike, what I'm saying? This is called a microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. that was what two years ago? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, um, but no, Brad, Brad's awesome. What he does, he works his butt his, his ass off. Yeah, and he. Uh, um, and um, I, I will vouch. I see him working Pro Tools, or you don't use yeah. Pro Tools, do you? Yeah, I do. Pro, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's on the computer, dude, and he's like, I was <laughs> like, dude, like I, I know what you're doing, kind of, but like I just you're doing it so fast. I'm like, this is all muscle memory. Yeah, it is. Well, even Jay was here, was at the studio yesterday, and he asked about like a key command or something on Pro Tools. I'm like, I couldn't remember what it what to press. You just know how to get there by month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long has your studio been open, bro? Uh. A year and a half now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. But I, I've been doing it for a while, but uh, the studio itself has been open for uh, a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It, Brad is great. Yeah, and, thank, uh, you, thank Jay, you. Jay, and now Jay, Jay's helping a little bit with drums there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Jay, we, tell we us we about did, that, uh, man. We did samples where uh, we just pretty much took all my drums and just uh, get the very best sound out of them and everything. Yeah. And uh, just went in one day. You know, it was just more like a fun day. We're just like, hey, yeah. yep. let's just do it, you know? Yeah. Or like. So yeah, why not, dude? For for the for the listener, a sample in recording is basically a sound that is made that you can stick into the song in any, any song. in yeah. any song and it has a good like for instance Jay will hit his snare drum just one time and then what it you guys will mold that to where you can stick that snare throughout in a any, whole song yeah. and it sounds like the snare is going through the horns but it's that one yeah. one sound just yeah. like yeah. a and like, that and that you know and that's the other thing too um you know, for like the way I like to do the my studio, uh, the way I like to treat it is basically almost like an open door policy. Like, I I love what I do, so like it's one of those things. You want me a freaking drink right now, yeah. Jesus? <laughs> you gotta say Freebird. Freebird. If you want one, no, you already have one. Okay. So Understand I say the lingo. Like, okay. Come on. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm All right. Yeah. yeah. It's, if you want a beer, you say Freebird. It's the reversal and of I, the studio. So yeah, now yeah. I gotta learn your language. Yeah. You know? So. <laughs> If you want a beer, say Freebird. Like, Brent want one? Say Freebird. I'll throw this one. Try not to hit you in the head. Yeah. I'm Ooh, a child, Coors bro. Light. I'd rather have a Dr. Ooh. Pepper. <laughs> Coors Light doesn't even hurt when it hits you in the head, bro. <laughs> Feel the mountain. Yeah, but, you know, I, I want I want people to, to have, like, an open-door policy or feel like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, absolutely. Like, when Jay uh, – like, I hit up Jay. I was like, let's do drum samples. I, I just – I like to be there, and if I if I have downtime, I like to still make use of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's it's always fun working with Jay. And, like, if we have, like, outside sessions where they need a drummer or something, yeah, I'll yeah. usually call Jay. And I, I have some other some other great drummers yeah. on hand. But, you know. Yeah, and Jay's, Jay's, uh, Jay's master slow, at the click. And yeah, he's he slowly can... becoming a studio rap. Yeah, hey, yeah, I know. hey, you know, and like I said, you know enough musicians where you're like, hey, you want to pop in and do this yeah. or this? Boom. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, or just hang out. Uh, hang out, yeah, yeah dude. We always, have a good time. Hey, yeah. Even when we're not recording, we have oh, a good yeah, time in the studio, yeah, dude. It's always fun. God, and if anyone ever went to the studio at Brad's studio, um, a lot of jokes, a lot of good stuff happens yeah. down there. Yeah, and we now, and now the live room's built. And the live room's a built. A lot of bands, yeah. Like, but we don't talk about everything that goes down there. No. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. no. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's, it's, you know. Yeah. It's it's a it's always a good. Brad, like it gets weird, but yeah, it gets weird, yeah. <laughs> especially after eleven. Yeah, so, never, <laughs> mind, never mind. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. No, great place. If you're a musician or artist, um, check out 
Birdberry Studios. Um, there's uh, some artists to check out from you. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's that see. That you record. And, and yeah. Um, pardon me if I forget anyone. I'm going to feel oh, yeah, yeah. really I mean, crappy. Through the Oculus. Yeah, through the Oculus. Uh, and congrats to them. Uh, they just got signed, which is yeah, amazing. I like, saw that. That's just awesome. To work with the band from the beginning and then to get you know see them get signed. It's like, yeah. It's really rewarding. Dude, that's it. Um, I love And then Where It Lies. I haven't met them, but they're right now. Where they're, It Lies. They're really cool people. Yeah. There's a lot of the bands here, Cora, that I haven't even got to meet yet. Yeah, it yeah. Sucks. Where, where it lies, I'm representing them today. Um, really cool, uh, cool. homies. Uh, Scarlet Sirens, a great brand, uh, band. They're my favorite. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really, really good. Yeah. Um, and and the thing is, is like, uh, you know, every band, it's it's interesting when you're in the recording situation. Like every band will have you know different personalities. Yeah. But it's interesting because. I've gotten along with every personality from every member. Except of the for band. me, but well, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a, we're working on that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that's why I charge you guys a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know what I mean? It's it's really interesting. Like everyone just has different personalities, and like I get along with everyone, and yeah. it's a big part of it's like reading the room. Like some people, you know, will take certain jokes the wrong way, or yeah. something. and you just gotta you gotta feel it out. You gotta, you gotta learn it. it. Yeah, yeah, but all these bands are amazing people. Um, yeah, and then uh, another band is uh, Deep Within. They're they're great guys. Um, working on their album right now. Cool. Yeah. Uh, shoot, I'm gonna feel really bad if I forget. Willie, anyone. don't forget about Willie. Willie. Oh, Louis Cyber. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, yeah, he's doing a lot of stuff right now. So basically, um, what he does is he just creates a basic melody, you know, yeah. either on acoustic guitar, and then he'll sing a little bit over it. Yeah. And then uh, it's usually like on a phone or something. He'll just yeah. record it, and then basically takes it in, and we. Just make it what it is. So he just released a song, Forget That Feeling. He'll release another song here uh, soon called Simpin'. And uh, it's really cool. It's like an 80s yeah, yeah. It's, it's like an 80s <laughs> weekend, for your love. weekend 80s kind of sound to it. It's a lot of fun. Um, cool. Yeah, and then uh, – Don't feel on the spot. I mean, you have yeah, several. Yeah, you yeah, several. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You just have what, the Bivens sisters genre, in there. What yeah. genre are these artists are like for the most part? It, it changes, man. Like yeah. – um, I would say for the most part, like if a band is coming, it's it's gonna be rock. Um, yeah. Some of them are metal. Some of them are more like indie rock. Like Blind Octavius is another great great band. Mm -hmm. um, they're more like indie a little bit. Um, and then you know, occasionally I'll get some rappers in and and hip hop artists. Mm -hmm. um, I actually I've grown to really like making beats and yeah. that kind of stuff. That's cool. It's became a lot of fun. I bet. Um, and it's it's a lot more vibey. You just set the lights down low, make them green or something, again, and then just yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brent, then, uh, take it away, Brent. Oh man, yeah, you have, some, you have some candles, you know. It's just really like you know, just chilling. speaking of candles, yeah, that video, huh? Oh uh, yeah, we did yeah. Brad when is studio. it coming out? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it'll be out soon. Yeah, we were, we recorded a, a music video for Twenty Two Salute and Brad Studio in the performance room. Uh, we had a lot of. Dude, lot of, cool. lot of candles, yeah. A lot of candles, a lot of cobwebs. That was, yeah. like, worrying me. I thought we were going to burn the place down. I did. Because I think those things are flammable. I have insurance. We're good. <laughs> we're, we're you're good. actually hoping. You're like, yeah, yeah, burn yeah, the place yeah. down. Burn the place down. <laughs> yeah, sell studio. Get a Tesla. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, hey, but I'm excited about that. But dude, I, dude, Ron Underwood. He's oh, awesome. Legend. legend. He's, yeah. he's, he's, uh, and I just met him that one time. Yeah. And yeah. Amazing. Ron, Ron is, yeah, he puts out the best music videos. Actually, yeah. I don't think we'll ever switch from him. No, well, you know, hey, your he, videos have been very solid, dude. Dude, Ron, dude, Ron, except I, for except for the actors, and usually it's yeah. the band actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else, yeah, yeah. All the side yeah, actors you, are amazing. If you could just like record your videos without the band, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, if, if actually, in fact, just if, put your music. Don't show up in the video. Or have if you Ron could be the the actor for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's if you could just on. wear a green suit from here on out, like with anything green. on it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make you. Mike, enough. Mike, stand behind this tree here. Just stay there. No, you're doing great. Just stay. No, yeah. dude. No, we. Uh, I would say Jay. We we have a good, pretty cool team yeah. between yeah, Brad yeah, at the studio you. and yeah. then Ron doing music videos and and uh, Brent uh, making fun of us all the time. I think we oh, have a really man. good team. I mean, <laughs> and anyone that's on watching, lines, uh, this is a side thing. Anyone that's watching, if you've noticed, every time I've taken a drink. Jay does it too. It's a cycle. Oh, really? Trick. <laughs> is yeah. it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, every time I take a drink, he, immediately after. You know what's funny? Don't rewind it. You, you <laughs> yeah. know what's funny? Every time you take a drink, I've probably had 10. So that's the funny thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's He's hilarious. just not going to drink anymore now that you brought that up. So yeah. <laughs> now Jay's like, watch this. Oh, by the way. <laughs> yeah, now he's all self Okay, so real quick. I did this. I meant to do this earlier. I have two sticks here. Hey. Drum sticks. I brought these because Jay, I want to tell you something about Jerry here. Jay does not 
stop drumming ever. Like he'll be sitting there, and his yeah. his girlfriend can attest. Yeah, there's a there's a point in the video where I just start drumming on the table. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. J, J, oh, right. Jay just starts tapping. So this is what we're gonna do. Jay's not doesn't get to use these. I'm putting them right in front of him, and the goal is oh, he cannot fiddle with these at all until the end of the episode. Now at the end you can touch them or play with them, but if you do mess with these, you have to chug a beer on camera. Do okay. not mess with these sticks. Now, this is going to be really hard. You understand, people. Really he just if he to, sees he sticks, he, he's going to want to start tapping them. He can't them. even touch them? He can't even touch them? He can, like, bump them and stuff, but he can't pick them up and start okay. fiddling. Nope. Jay, is that, right. is that? They're not the right size. Don't worry. Oh, man. Oh, uh, no. I'm okay. He likes them bigger. If it was the yeah, right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You really? Jay, they're calling your name. Just, just they're really, yeah. they're really <laughs> close. Touch the sticks, no, it's, it's funny, too, because. Touch the stick. Touch it. When we're at the. When we're at the Sorry. studio, it's literally like we're doing stuff, and <laughs> I have like a, a like an electric kit just in the back, and it's just all I hear is, <laughs> but it's like a muffled sound, you know, like. A <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, "Yep, Jay's tapping away." Yeah, every time. Do you Jay, you know, what I would rather have a drummer that yeah. does that all the time than a drummer that yeah. doesn't. Like, like, so, I mean, sometimes yeah, we're talking, I, I just hear going off, yeah, like, yeah. "Jay, hold on." Yeah. But you know what? I'd rather have that than not. So. Yep. That's his life, bro. You know, it's kind no, of no, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to complain about that because Jay's just always drumming. And I'm like, I'd rather have a drummer that's always drumming than a drummer that yeah, never yeah. practices. So. All right. Well, where were we? Oh, Burberry Studios. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Brent, you've never been there, right? I have not. You need to come join us and hang yeah, out sometime. I'm if down, that's dude. okay. Okay. All right. So uh, that concludes Burberry Studios part of the set list. Let's go now to we're going to talk about the Justice League Snyder Cut. I have cool. not watched it. Beautiful. Me neither. You got to. Brad hasn't watched Beautiful. it. You got to watch it. Yeah. And then uh, Jay has watched it. Brent has watched it. Uh, what do you guys think of it? It's really good. I think it's like out of all the DC movies, it it's definitely the best. It's definitely the best. That's a pretty low standard, though. Like, but, but like where, a, where at exactly? It, it's, on like, the... it's like it's definitely um, on par with the Marvel movies, especially like Endgame. It has a lot of like kind of like similarities to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it definitely made all the other – all the characters, really badass. Like mm -hmm. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, she's like great. She's really great in that movie. Yeah, dude, her first movie was was, my, was one of my favorites. All, all, like, it's all right. Wonder Woman. It's good. The first Wonder Woman. Yeah, it's good. I didn't see eighty four. I, I didn't either. I heard it was terrible. That one's, that yeah, one's kind of bad. I didn't. I, I didn't watch eighty four either. And, and I'm a huge DC fan. Like, yeah, I, I love DC. I actually, so. I like DC more than Marvel. That's no, me. Because it's more of a darker vibe. Yeah. Yeah, and like. But I will give it to Marvel. Like the movies are far better. The animated movies for DC, like the you know uh, Under the Red Hood or whatever it's called. I think it's Under the Red Hood. Yeah. Um, those are all great. But mm -hmm. the yeah the movies. Batman Beyond. You know. Oh, dude, dude, that's money in the pocket for them. Yeah. I don't know why they don't create a Batman Beyond movie. It's like yeah. Well, dude, they were supposed to come out like you know, like with the uh, with the three Batman's that were out with uh, Christian Bale. Yeah, they yeah. were supposed to continue that with like uh, Nightwing at the end of that. Yeah, dude, that was a great did. ending. Yeah. That would have been sick. But uh, dude, Zack Snyder, that did that cut, freaking like it's on par, dude. Because like you know, they gave it an R rating, so they got a lot more violence uh, in there, dude. Got, like, yeah, got uh, freaking Steppenwolf swinging that axe, dude. Geez. It's great. Uh, so real quick for the for the listener, the viewer, um, uh, Justice League came out what year? Like 2019, 18. 18, maybe? 18, yeah. So know. during during the post-production, um, his daughter died. Yeah. Snyder's daughter died. Yeah, so yeah. he, like, just, I don't, I, did someone just take over and just kind of. I think that's what it They was. just left all the stuff 2017. out. 2017. Okay, 2017. Yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. Brent. So, something about that. Like, his daughter passed away, and then he left, and then someone else took over, and then kind of, like, yeah. Josh Wilden, 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 or something like that. Yeah. Right? Something. And then, uh. Josh yeah. Whedon or W H E D O N? Yeah. So so basically, uh, yeah, something like that happened. Um, and then now, Dark Side's in it, right? Uh, the kind new of. one, yes, but the, the old the one. The Snyder now. Cut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In my opinion, I think the biggest thing they botched was Doomsday. I'm a Doomsday. huge fan of Doomsday, and like seeing like in Batman versus Superman, yeah. like making it like a one. Like making it almost a side character, like yeah. I hated that because they they focused more on like I know like in that movie with Doomsday in it they focused more on um, Batman uh, on Martha. No, 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 no. Martha, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. gosh dang it, what what uh, oh, uh, Lex Luthor? They focused uh, more on Lex. Luthor. Your mom's Martha, movie. my mom's Martha. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're friends. friends now. Now. We're friends. <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> yeah, so it's like I I felt like what they they could have done with Doomsday is like did like 
and I get it. people would have complained about this too a little bit, like would have said they're copying Marvel. But what they should have done is like post credit scenes of like Doomsday starting from like a larva, yeah. and then you know the next movie, then he's destroying planets, and then the third movie yeah. he he comes. But instead, they just made it to where they just made some guy turn into Doomsday. Yeah, and like, uh, yeah, like, it was. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. But, but the Snyder Cut is good. Oh, Snyder Cut's amazing, dude. Like, it's like, I think it's the, obviously it's the best DC movie that they've come out with. But, uh, dude, yeah, it's just the way it's made, the way it's edited now. Like, it's it's definitely how it should have been from the beginning. Yeah. You um, definitely don't feel like it's four hours. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, they, they, very well they broke it up into, what, 30-minute increments? Well, it's... Parts. Parts, parts, but it's um, it's not in, like, set times or whatever. It's more so like, hey, okay, part one's done, part two now. Gotcha, part three, okay. Part four. Um, but for the most part, it's uh, even with the parts, the movie still kind of goes back to like the first part, or like say part four will go back to part two in a way. Okay. It's kind of like it'll kind of take go back and forth with the movie. So it's more so it's still a movie, and you're not really even with the parts, it's not really taken away. Like okay, we're done with this part. Yeah, know? yeah. It doesn't feel like it yeah. feels like one full thing. Yeah, so, it still feels like one. Full so thing. initially, the the, the movie got. Uh, mixed reviews at first before the Snyder Cut. It was yeah, just like, yeah. eh. It yeah. was hated for it a while. It was hated, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm surprised that they could do a, a they could they could do a a, a recut or a, 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 and make it the that power much. of hashtags. Y- yeah. Yeah. No. I'm. Yeah. They 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 demanded one and um. Well, because we the are. film was all there. You know, everything was still yeah. was still shot. All you need to do is just recut it up. They just put that other hour and a half of content in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, we were just talking about like my favorite is the Lord of the Rings extended. Because, like, yeah. it's, like, each Amen, movie brother. is, like, I don't know, like, three and a half hours for each film. And then they just break it up. So, like, it's a whole, like, it's a journey, man, getting through all those movies. It's yeah. amazing. I, I love the Lord of the Rings keeps series. You, keeps you engaged, though. You know, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. By the way, I'm trying to – I'm just gonna, I'm sorry. I'm fiddling around with this. Ryan, I'm trying – it's still not doing it. Sorry. Sorry. We're, I'm trying to work the lights here. Guys, uh, Ryan's gonna figure it out for me. See, I, I can work. We can work our own light show here. Sorry, I wasn't trying yeah. to take away that. Yeah, I'm like yeah. feeling on my phone. We're trying to figure it out while y'all are talking. So we'll get that figured out. But yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a great the, movie. It, great movie. I want to see. I didn't have time. It's like how long? Four hours Four almost. Hours, yeah. Jeez. Four hours and two minutes. I think. I just don't understand. I guess I read about it. They said that the reason why they took so much out is because they're trying to make it more comedic and not as long. They just were. Well, I mean, a four-hour like Marvel movie, that's why. Yeah, and it's a four-hour movie. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, yeah. I get out of theater is yeah. rough. But, yeah, th- that's that's my problem, too. They tried to make it, like, I love the darker, like, Man of Steel. It had yeah. a darker vibe to it. And then, basically, you know, it was, they, they tried to make it like Marvel, and it was just annoying. You know what I mean? Because it's like, no, like, stick with, yeah. they rushed it. They they tried to, to catch up to Marvel. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Just do something that the fans are going to like. That's your primary yeah. base. Anyway. You know, because Marvel, Marvel's no more, no more for putting more comedy into their movies, especially yeah. with Spider-Man. Yeah. And where comics. DC is yeah. meant for, like, the depression and all that. Like, Yeah, dark. exactly. So. Yeah, I, so. Um, I, I, I like, um, I actually like the, um, the one with Christian Bale a lot. Uh, the yeah, Dark Knight. Yeah, right. yeah. And, um. I, I actually I'm not gonna lie I like Batman versus Superman. I know. Yeah, <laughs> Brad yeah. always gives me crazy. dude. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hate it for sure. I was it was watchable for sure for me. Like, like for me for me like the biggest thing is first off I'm a Superman fan. I understand that Batman has a way more interesting arc. I get it. Yeah. yeah. But the thing that irritated me is they they took it from the Dark Knight novel or graphic novel thing, and the problem with with the movie is that. At a certain point, Superman legit tries to beat Batman, whereas in the comic, Superman never really tries to beat Batman. Okay. And like Superman is a str- like the smartest dude. He's the fastest dude, and you're telling me he doesn't have a pr- like a preparation for Batman having kry- kryptonite. I don't buy that. Like mm. Superman has to know that Batman has kryptonite, and like why wouldn't he do something about it? You know. So I, I just I thought it was it was obviously geared towards. Batman lovers, which is the bigger fan base. Oh, well, that's different. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Flesh and lights. Yeah. And hey. they, I don't know, they just kind of butchered it, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and Green Arrow in the comic is actually the one that shoots Superman with, a, a, a kryptonite. Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, can we, can we all say, though, that the Batman and Robin movie from the 90s with George Clooney is the best? Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that Batnips? <laughs> is that Batnips? Is that Batnips? 
<laughs> it is, right? It's bat nips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's bat nips? What? Because the, the George Clooney Batman had nipples on oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. That suit could well, why wouldn't it? Burn, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very anatomically okay. correct the, suit. The best thing about Batman and Robin, that came out like 98, 99, something like that. Something, yeah. So rough, 97 yeah. even. Yeah. Uh, the best so. thing about Batman and Robin movie is Arnold Schwarzenegger's one-liners. Yep. Can you agree? I mean, he's like, he, he shows up Start in the beginning freeze. of it. He's like, he's like. He, he he walks into the museum. He's like, you know, they're terrorizing the place. Yeah. He goes, "Cool party," you know, like cool. And then he's like, "What killed the dinosaurs? The ice age." And then he like he blows ice all over like the dinosaur structures. And then he's like, "Chill, Psh, chill." He's yeah. like, "It's so." Bad. But they botched Bane pretty hard in that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Bane. Dude, but, but the new Bane though. Yeah, he's cool. Tom but Hardy. It, Tom if, Hardy if killed you, it. Dude. If you think about it, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because literally they had like great casting for everyone like mm-hmm. the, like they had heavy hitters like the riddler the fr- freaking arnold yeah uh, what well, who played two-face um oh that one? Oh, batman forever is that that movie was sick the third yeah. one after yeah, third after one? batman returns with catwoman uh michelle pfeiffer yeah then it came it came with uh um jim carrey who and, played two-face uh, uh it was a uh, tommy, uh, lee, tommy jones. lee jones right? yeah, yeah yeah dude that's a heavy cast can dude. i be honest with you as much as they try to Hollywoodize Batman Forever, I think that was a great movie. I love it. It has a uh, what was his name? Chris O'Donnell's Robin. Yeah. And then you had yeah. um, no, that was a great. Uh, oh, you had a uh, um 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 Nicole Kidman played. Was that uh, Val Kilmer woman. as Batman? I'm getting a mix. Yeah, up yeah, now. Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. I thought that was a great a one. Be- he used to be a beautiful man. Would you? Hey, what? Now, now oh, he, he looks, looks like. Now he looks beat. Dude. Ah, dude. You know what I hear? Uh, what's it? Uh, Nobody ever talks about the Mike, Michael Keaton Batman, but I feel like he was like one of the top ones. Oh yeah, Michael dude. Keaton for sure. No, everyone. Talks everyone about loves Michael. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't hear his name come up as much. Maybe it's because George Clooney's talked about because it sucks so bad. Yeah, no. Everyone like everyone wants Michael Keaton to to come back as. He's supposed, Bruce Wayne he's supposed Bruce. to for the uh, one, the new one with um, with um, Robert Pattinson. Robert he's supposed to I'm come back for that one. Yeah. That's gonna be cool, dude. Because yeah. people are like Robert Pattinson is he gonna is he gonna sparkle like dude, a he's vampire? Good, bro. But like, like like watch Lighthouse and tell yeah. me he's not a good actor. Okay, everyone watching, real quick, yeah. watch the movie Lighthouse. It has mermaids and oceans and be sailors. Good, it's a great movie. You're selling it wrong. You're I know. Selling it be, wrong. In a, be in a good place of mind before you watch that movie. Actually, um, the movie the movie Lighthouse is all black and white, and um, it has Robert Pattinson and um, a Willem Dafoe, mm-hmm. and it's just them two. That well, no, no, there is another cast. I won't say anything. Quickly, yeah. Quickly, but yeah. but it's mainly them two, and it's a psychological. Basically, they 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 they, they uh, you saw it. They yeah. work at a lighthouse, and it's all black and white. It came out two years and, ago. And, yeah, and the cool thing about it is it's shot in four by three, so it's a square uh, thing, so it's not widescreen. Okay. And then, uh, but yeah, and they're, they're like, I, they use like older special effects for like the clouds and thunder and everything. Yeah, dude. It's, Just make it halfway to the end, and then you'll see everything. Yeah. That goes it's down a mind right. trip. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I just gotta say, it, it is. It is deeper. It it is weird. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but it's actually slightly deeper than just weird. No, I know, I know. Because when you watch it, like I'm a big like In, dialogue guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I I get invested into a movie and I listen to the dialogue and think about the plot holes. Yeah. In that movie, the thing, I'll, the one thing I'll say is that all the weird parts are described verbally through the dialogue at some point in the film. Yeah, like explain? Not explain, but just... Describe. Yeah, Even describe. the dog leash part? Especially that one. Especially that one. I need to go back and watch dog it. Le- yeah. Dog leash part. Remember yeah. that. Listen, you know There's... that huge William Defoe monologue? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's, I can't remember if it's during that or what leads up to that. That lo- that, he that brings that up. That yeah. scene is specifically uh, talked about. Yeah. Jay, have you seen the movie Lighthouse? I have it. <laughs> Jay has two words. Nope and yep. sick. Jay the one liner. One liner. Nope and sick. Yep. Yep. Have you touched those drumsticks yet? Nope. Um, yeah, so close. yeah, watch Lighthouse. Uh, what's it? A twenty four. And they have a new one coming out. What? Uh it's it looks like a like just a standard movie. Like Tom like uh Forrest Gump is a standard movie, right? It's just yeah, yeah. Like, it takes a character yeah. on. Um it has a I forget I always forget his name. It's Glenn from Walking Dead. And oh, it, it's wow. yeah, it's about his family. Like I think 
I think this was a, what it's about. It's his family like comes to America and then like starts up a farm. Oh, it looks, oh, yeah. Yeah. it looks yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. I saw about that. Any, a lot of things from A twenty. Yeah. I'm not gonna say everything, but a yeah. lot of things are well, from A twenty four. Uh, me, 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 and Brad we had like like I I started watching like um it was The Witch and then it was Hereditary and then Midsummer and those movies like jacked Dude, up. All those movies. and they're all A twenty four movies. And I I told Brad about this like a year ago. I'm like yeah. Brad, you guys are not even a year ago. I was yeah. like Brad, you gotta check these movies out. Like they're messed up, but they're not, they're really like messed they're like they're crazy. Crazy yeah, and they're yeah, different. Mid- Midsummer, I'm just like, what? The? Yeah, and then Brad watched him. Now he loves him. Uh, oh, yeah. Now you gotta watch Ex Machina. That I, is another one. I think I've seen that. Really? But, yeah, but oh. I can't remember. Like that one's a good I was, one. I think they had it when I was on deployment. It would be on like a TV. Uh, and then uh, like I would see. No, no. Casting. Ex Machina is like a couple years old, three years old. Uh, yeah. It's probably about five. So. Not really. Oh, okay. 2016. Okay, I think so. Yeah, it was. Out. No, yeah, I don't think you've seen yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's not. It's good. It's yeah. really. It's, it's a. It's 2014. A, it has a big twist in it. So. Okay. Um, okay. So. Yeah. So that's Justice League Snyder Cut. Yeah. Pretty good, huh, Jay? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. And then <laughs> yeah. So everyone's saying it like they redid it. They did Justice League, and watch now it's it. awesome. So I'm I'm gonna watch it eventually. So. And I'm good. It's a good. It's thing. on HBO Max, by the way. Yeah. So. It's a good thing that uh, that the whole Star Wars thing has kind of ended because I'm super bitter about that. So I'm <laughs> yeah. glad we're talking about this. Than Star Brad, Wars, tell me uh, what you think about the new Star Wars. Oh, okay, God, no, we're not gonna. Well, that, out, what about the shows? That are that'd be, be an. Ex- All right, shows. Okay, the. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll make it quick. Okay. I'll make it quick. <laughs> I I like the Force Awakens. I thought it was a decent film. I thought, <laughs> yeah, there's some plot holes in it. Yeah. Um, and yes, it does kind of repeat. I guess from like you know. Uh, a new hope and all that, but it wouldn't have been a big deal if eight and nine were good. It would have been a cool like we would have seen seven as like paying homage to the older films. Yeah. And uh, so seven I thought was pretty good. It led off to a lot of interesting things. Eight was trash. Nine was good <laughs> considering that eight was trash. <laughs> and, Dude, and, they brought and, back Palpatine, bro. Yeah. Oh. And if you don't Do agree with me, Alan Dean Foster, which is the comic writer or the the novel or the uh, author of the of the books, yeah. starting from A New Hope on, he wrote Splinters uh, in the Mind's Eye, I think is what it's called. Okay. He has this. I just watched a, uh, another uh, interview with him, and he had the same viewpoint. So once I saw that, I was like, okay, now yeah. I'm good. Yeah, now I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. You know. But yeah, uh, the shows are cool. Mandalorian, um, I think, is a good start. Kenobi uh, is going to be good. It looks like. Okay. Oh, you want, uh, how big? How big? Like, of, let's get going. Well, hold on. How big of a Star Wars fan are you? I love Star Wars. Oh God, we're okay. not getting on Star Wars. No, no. Guys, we'll go all oh, day with man. this. We will all go. Right. All right. Sorry, guys. I love I love Star Wars, but if I don't cut Brad off now, it's going. over. Yeah. This podcast <laughs> yeah. is all yeah. Star Wars. We might as well call this a Star Wars podcast. Okay. Uh, all right. You know. All right. Sorry, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> now you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. You can say like five, ten seconds. Go. Oh, what was I going to say in ten seconds? Just let's go. Okay. Let's go. It sucks. Okay. <laughs> Can okay. I use the F-bomb now? <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn the lights on red. Hold on. And go. No, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we got to we gotta put the mood right, guys. How about this? <laughs> Let's switch it up here, dude. I'm trying to get a little bit of... What's the next topic? What, what do we got? Oh, we're going. Okay. Here we go. So we're, um, we're getting down uh, the set list here. We are going to start talking about the worst tones... In popular music, meaning good drums, guitars, vocals that sound like absolute garbage. Saint anger. But okay, that's modern, the, yeah, yeah. modern music. <laughs> no, no, no. It can be in general. Just, just, okay. just like the. I mean, music. Just stuff that just sounds like crap. You're like, wow, and people love it. Like, like it could be voice too. It could be vocals. Like horrible singer. What sounds really, really bad and it's just for, really for popular. For me, it's always just rhythm. And um, I was listening to. They remember's new album. I think like breaking the wall or break wall or whatever. Yeah. The beginning song just has just a weird way yeah, of implementing the breakdown. Has hmm. a really weird way of implementing a breakdown. The wall. The b- yeah, break wall. Break wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that was a single from there. And, and I guess people love it. I don't know. I, I just think that's like my that's their worst song out of the whole album, yeah. and it's the first song from for the album. In terms of tones, I mean honestly, I I, I don't really know because like. Any popular artist has a very famous mix engineer on it, so it yeah. all sounds good. Um, I would say I'm not. There's something you hear and you're like, God, that sounds bad. But at no the drive-in live is terrible. 
at the drive-in live. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. But like, oh, like the live recording. Like well, like not, like live recording, just singing in general. Uh, even the main albums. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever listened to them, but I saw them live when they play with System of a Down. Man, that guy's voice, he does not hit his notes. It's pretty crazy. But, you know. I mean, he is singing pretty high, though, because it's a singer from uh, the Mars Volta, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have, know, man. I have I, one, I, but I'll wait for what, what is it? What is it? Okay, so I am a big Ozzy Osbourne fan, and I am <laughs> a, a big Post Malone fan, but they both did a song together mm-hmm. called... Um, Riot? Uh, n- or... Uh, it's close. Um, With the cop siren in the yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called... Um, was, I think that was done at Laravee, so that's why... No, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so... Hold on, let me that, that specific song, L- I think. Yeah, let me look this up real quick. I need or, to... Um, or was it the one with Elton John? I can't no, 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 no. It, 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 it starts with the sirens. It's called... Yeah. Um, I, I, I forget I, the name. Yeah. Do you hold think on. all of Ozzy Osbourne's new stuff is purely just uh, auto-tune? No. I don't know. No. You think he's actually hitting those notes? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. No, hold on, hold on. Let, let me refresh. Or explain that. to me what the difference. I is. I think, I I think it's like a combination. So, I think they're tuning just very certain phrases. Oh, I know what the song is. But I'm also a hundred percent sure that Ozzy doesn't know it because he's he's said in interviews like, oh yeah, all these bands are using like correction and all these things. And I'm pretty sure they're doing it to Ozzy. He just because it's like it's, yeah. it's, it's like, oh, they know. look how same. good I sound. He's like, let it show. Yeah, yeah, it sounds yeah. so good. It's the same exact tone. Going, like, if you listen to the new album, especially, it's the same exact tone across the whole. All songs are the same. You can like hear like almost like a mechanic. Like yeah, 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 like a robot. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, the song called "It's a Raid." It's, it's a raid. raid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. I don't think the vocals sound bad for post or, but the instrumental beginning, the guitar sounds like it was drugged through the mud and then just like. Uh, I personally, I'm I'm actually not a fan of how that whole thing sounds. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Personally. No, that that song. I'm, that's actually that's a good one. That that's that, that's that for whole album for mo- for modern music. I think that song it just it just starts off really like it sounds like a garage band recording in their garage. It's a little rough. I don't, but part of me thinks that's what they were going for. But that yeah. that I. I Anyways, it's a raid by Ozzy. It's not a horrible song. It's just the the guitar tone at the beginning. I'm like, oh no. I think, I think a lot of the whole album is actually. Oh really? Uh, yeah. So so I think and and it was mixed by different people. So I think it had to do with their recording process. Okay. Something was maybe just or maybe that's the vibe they were going for. Yeah. You know, it's just well, not my cup of tea. What do you think about Romstein's guitar tone? <laughs> <laughs> it was good for its time. <laughs> yeah. Like it's that sound was kind of defining that time period. Okay, so, so how I many mean, power chords can you play? It's yeah, all yeah. at the end of the day, tones. I guess in the in the in the professional world yeah. is all preference. Yeah. Uh, so I was just trying to see what are tones or what are sounds like. Uh, Lars Ehrlich's snare in Saint Anger, right? Bong, uh, bong, Brent. Bong, 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 bong. Yeah, it sounds like a, a tin trash can being hit. Yeah. To be honest, Lars, though, is to be if he honest, wants to do what he's going to do what he's going to do. I know. So but, why. you know, I'm not going to lie. I don't necessarily hate the album saying it here. I don't. I mean, the, yeah, I could listen to it. It's just like when it, come, when it comes in, it's just on that one song. It's like, ding, ding, ding. Basically, wait, like, basically oh. he took away the snare, right? It's just the it's just the skin. It's, it's not. Very, there's no snares. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's um, what it is. I'm just like how, did J- like, how did James Hetfield not, like, go, like, dude, okay. We're not I'm doing that. Jay, what do, you, what do you think? Have You you know that snare sound? Not the most familiar with it. It just sounds like a ping, ping, yeah. ping. It's just all over. Yeah, yeah, it's ping. It's, it doesn't sound like the snare uh, beats or whatever. It, it, it just, just, it, just it just sounds it's like just a ping. Out of tune. You what? Know, it's like no, it doesn't like, even sound out of tune. It's, Jay, you have yeah, to hear it. Someone should you should play it for. Him I don't think we it. can copyright reason. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, you know, listen to Saint Anger uh, album and or this is a song Saint Anger. But anyways, yeah, yeah. I just we, we were talking about a little bit of tones and stuff. I'm maybe, getting a lot of hate here, but I'm also gonna say I'm not really a Metallica fan. That's fine. Everybody, I, actually, most of, most rock, I'm not a big fan of. I know <laughs> Brad, you'd be surprised. Brad is not as a rock guy. Actually, he shouldn't be on the rock. Oh, yeah, leave! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't deserve to be on air. No. Yeah, I'm very picky with. Like, I don't enter Sandman or Metallica. I wouldn't say Brad's <laughs> cynical, but no, uh, I'm pretty <laughs> cynical. I know you are. I'm pretty cynical. Brad's pretty damn cynical. I don't trust or but I love anymore. Brad. Brad's cool. He's, it's a good cynical. It's yeah. like a. Yeah. It's like the cynical. It's a positive cynical. Yeah, it's like a very uplifting cynical. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyways, moving on from that, we're going on the set list here. Um, Ashley, do you know what? Let's um, let's do the um, let's do the uh, traditional. Uh, it's only the second time we've done it, but we're gonna do the pee break, everybody. Okay. But yeah. before we do the pee break, and then we have a pee break, that's the that's the halfway point kind of. Um, we gotta uh, make sure we get that vibe. 
<laughs> oh, yes. All right. We'll be back. Okay. Cool. And we are back, everybody, uh, from the pee break. Uh, I got to be honest with you. I did not have to pee. Um, we just That's just the name of our halfway point or our break. And if you have to pee, you can pee. Yep. So. Yeah. so, yeah. So, uh, we are back from that, and um, I think we're ready for the set list to go on. Um, Jay, how are you doing with those sticks over there? Have you it's been very have, hard. You, have you been tempted? Yeah. He's, all, he's all, ever touch since the, the been sticks, Jay. Touch the stick. Be one. Be one with the stick. <laughs> I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So, Jay, if he touches, remember, if he touches the sticks, he has to chug a whole beer. It's going to be really hard, but I'll do it. I'll pull it through. I kind of want you to chug a beer. Hey, if, you, if you like beer, you'd touch them and then drink like a I'm whole beer. Them. I'm not touching them. <laughs> oh, my God. Just listen to Palpatine. Do it. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, welcome back to the Rock Oath. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're going to get on with the set list. Um, Next on the list is our favorite video games, uh, retro, old school, and more modern. Let's start with retro video games. It's old games. Jay, we? you go first. Go ahead, Galica, Jay. Galaga, favorite game at all times. All time favorite game, Galaga. Galaga, like yeah. like the ones that you play in the bars that like with Pac Man and stuff. That's like one step Pretty above Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> <laughs> That's one, oh, yeah, with song? sticks and rocks in the sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that game is it's. It's just the best. I don't know. It's just yeah. In terms of just like arcade wise, that's like my go-to. Hey, all I'm the time. dude. That's sick. No, it doesn't have to be that retro. It can be like PS One too. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. Like, that's sick though. Now, hey, even even that with PS One, PS Two, it's like Crash Bandicoot. Ah, oh, that's so good. The best. That's so good. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot's good. Even the new ones. It's like I haven't a, played the new ones. Really good. They, they look amazing. Dude, they look great. They, okay. they pretty much stick to the very same formula as the originals, so it's like you still feel that fam like familiar familiarity. Familiar. Just a little bit of modern. Yeah. The, same, the same stuff as as you would as you play the first and the second. Is it like just a graphical improvement and like, or, or is it a Brent. new game? Pretty. It's it's a little bit of both. So it's okay. definitely a huge graphical like. Improvement. Yeah, yeah. And they did add, um, you know, like a little bit more levels Spilling. to it, but the majority of it you got shit on your. It's everywhere. It's all over me. It's all over the laptop Don't, and stuff. Yeah. Beer on the laptop. Yep. You guys had a T uh, TWSS right there. What's up? What's Nothing. That? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys are too guy. young. Never mind. The uh, tiny wiener syndrome. No, I said, <laughs> I said, I said, oh, I said, I said, oh God, it got all over me, and then I said, that's your TWSS moment, but <laughs> you guys still don't. No. I'm missing it. That's what she said. I'm, I'm a young child. Gotcha. Mike. All right. Um. Yeah, the crash is cool. Um, and Spyro, I I love Spyro. Like, up until the Spyro. new the remake, that one's kind of yeah. The game itself, it's pretty good. Just the yeah, the way they kind of remade Spyro looks kind of uh -huh. weird, you know. I uh, Spyro, you know those those are all classics. Uh, Brad, what was your sorry not to jump for you, but what was your favorite retro old game? Could be just 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 some. I'm gonna say Mario 64. Mario 64, yeah. Yeah, just because yeah. that was like my first like I got that console. Yeah. Like I, I was always late in the game, so I got an N64 like shortly before PS2 came out. Dude. I was always like late in the game, but uh, but yeah, Super Mario. And uh, funny story, so I got the console, and then for Christmas, and my mom was like, "Yeah, it comes with like uh, it, you're able to play like a bunch of games. I think it was like 300 games or whatever it was." Yeah. And she didn't know, bless her heart, that. <laughs> You had to buy the games, so she thought uh, it just had everything. Uh, so, and then the worst part is my family. Um, we do Christmas on Christmas Eve, so I had to wait. We end Christmas Eve night, so we I opened it up, and as a kid, I had to wait all the way Christmas night looking at the console, not <laughs> Christmas Eve night not being able to play, Christmas Day not being able to play, uh, and then Monday I had to wait till uh, my dad got off work to go to get a game. Yeah, uh, so just like the whole time I'm just sitting there, I'm like. Suffer. Uh, Merry kid, man. Christmas. Yeah, it was brutal. No, yeah. did you believe in Santa around then? No, uh, it was pretty early on that I like it, we didn't do the whole Santa thing. Yeah, my my dad was like, "I bought you these gifts, not Santa." <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Wait, wait, you guys don't believe in Santa?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah. Well, my family was like, <laughs> my family was definitely like, what? I'm I'm lost right now. Yeah, are you yeah. Serious? <laughs> you guys are not serious. I'll yeah. dress up as Santa for you if you want. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait. 
you tell me Santa's not real? <laughs> so I can, I can keep going on with that. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, my family, I, I'm not going to say they were, like, super religious, but, ba- like, it was well known, like, okay, Santa isn't real. Like, I, I believed in Santa for sure. No, I got it. My, my mom was yeah. saying, my, yeah. I mean, they played the Santa thing for a while, and then all yeah. of a sudden they're like, like, this is, Santa's not real. I just bought you this. You better be thankful. So Santa. then who brought me the damn call? <laughs> <laughs> my dad's like, <laughs> Yeah, you got a point there. That's right. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. What about, what's a retro hey, game Hey, Cole's you? not too bad if you can use it right. What's that? Yeah. What's a retro, retro game? Retro game for me, I'm going to say, okay, I got a couple. I will say I think one of the coolest games of all time that is super old is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Oh, that's cool. For the first Nintendo. Yeah. That is one of the coolest video games in the world. So Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And then I'm going to go, um, I'm a big Final Fantasy guy. So, like, okay. I love... Seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten. I'm actually playing thirteen right now. Uh, so I'm big Final Fantasy. I even got the uh, the the necklace, and uh, also our show intro is Final Fantasy eight intro right, when yeah, we start yeah, the show. Yeah. Actually, it's a pretty badass intro. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all orchestral and like yeah. or- it's so cool. Um, and then yeah, but other than that, um, I'm a, like the first Metal Gear Solid was so cool. That's cool, dude. That was Metal Gear Solid good. two is amazing. Though. Yeah. Oh. The uh, Sons of Liberty or whatever? That's that a sick. That's yeah, what you got all your conspiracy theories from, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, the, uh, yeah, like, I remember I went to my uncle's and he bought a PS2. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was playing Metal Gear Solid 2 and I was just blown away, man. Like Everything's interactive. You can shoot birds out of the sky. Yeah, I and mean, the you can lights sh- and the lights. You can shoot any but, light and they blow but up. But you know what, though? I love, uh, don't get me wrong, I love Metal Gear Solid 2. But what I what they need to go back to is Splinter Cell. We need a game. Oh. Did you Pandora play tomorrow, no. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, or Chaos Theory. What about Siphon Filter? You guys ever played that dude, game? Dude, I was yeah. gonna, if, when you asked me, I was gonna say that because Siphon Filter. That's dude, a sick game. I, the first one I played that. That is so a many great times. game. You know what sucks? Is I didn't have a memory card for a while on my PlayStation <laughs> One, so I had to restart <laughs> it every time. Hey guys, I'm leaving. Do not turn the PlayStation off because I I can't save it, and if you turn it off, I lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my dad's like, oh, I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, did you? Uh, oh shoot, it was. Uh, Okay. <coughs> nice. Sorry. That, um, what was that you? My ears. That was me. Jeez. <laughs> the uh, so Metal Gear was on PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. There was an N sixty four equivalent. A lot of people don't know this. It's a game called Win Back. I was probably the Never only person. Yeah. No one ever heard of it. And it's basically Metal heard. Gear Solid, but n- like Nintendo wise, I guess. Ooh. But it's still pretty like it's still pretty like brutal and everything. <coughs> Uh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, hey, by like the way, uh, we burp in the mics here. I know it's gross. It's I was like, like it's not very professional. Like That's what we do. What's up? <laughs> was it like a first person or third person view? Uh, third person, and then I think you could do an over the shoulder view. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it was really cool. And man, as a kid, like you're mm. playing and it, it's like, it was spooky, you know? It was, it was cool. But <laughs> um, another cool game is obviously Resident Evil games. Those uh, are just. Yeah. Jay. I yeah, played yeah. like 15 Love minutes of Love one. What? Jay, they're pretty sick. The first, and one, but, it, the first one's short, you know, not good. Yeah. It's a short game, but it's it's great. Dude, when you're younger and you're playing Resident Evil and you're like in the dark, dude, like and they have the jump I out scenes imagine, like yeah. Resident Evil Two, dude, you're like you open a door, all of a sudden zombies are like coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Silent Hill was cool, dude. Yeah, I love those. Cool. I heard they. Made, I heard now. I mean, by the way, I'm behind in video games, but I hear like they have a lot of like creepy ass video games. Like, like don't play this game in the dark, like dude. Like, well, I play in VR. And, ah, dude! Like some of the games on that are like dude, dude, play, VR? yeah, oh, dude, oh, VR play virtual play. reality. You get the whole headset. headset. Oh, dude, dude I'm I've, sweaty about dude, it. Dude, when you show me that, that's so cool. You, you like it gives you a boundary, so you yeah. don't like run in yeah, off yeah. a cliff or something. <laughs> and then like, yeah, dude, so, they should come out with Outlast on VR, dude. Can you imagine? Well, there's a so I have I have the Quest, but I also have a gaming PC, and uh, you could like there's a program I forget what it's called, but uh, Vorpix, I think. I think it's Vorpix, but what it does is it basically allows you to make pretty much any PC game VR. Yeah. So and Outlast is on that list. Oh, so sure. so yeah, but uh, Layers of Fear is a great game to play yeah. if you're into scary played, games. Yeah, I played that too. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Layers of Fear two is actually pretty good too. Um, yeah, and then uh, Phasmophobia is a fun game. That's to just a chill great, around. Yeah, that's a dope game. Um, What's up? It's like it's more psychological horror, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's mm. like it's like uh, the Silent Hill game. That was like the demo on the PlayStation Four. I forget what it's called. I think it's PT, like Silent Hill yeah. playable demo or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that. it's like that. Um, and then what's your what are you playing now? Like what what's your favorite modern game? I guess. 
Uh, recently, Cyberpunk 2077. It was That's cool. And, uh, you know what? Like, even though it came out really buggy and stuff. You see all the t yeah, 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 all the glitches, it makes <laughs> yeah. the game. Honestly, with the glitches, it kind of makes the game even more fun. Yeah. I, I can and, see that. And I know a mm-hmm. lot of people kind of bagged on it and stuff, saying, like, you know, I, it's not finished. You're yet. like, I like it. You're like, yeah, whatever. I mean, it is. It really it is. isn't really a finished game. I heard yeah. character creation is pretty interesting. It, it is. For certain it is. reasons. It's yeah. pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well. I, I think it's all right. It's Brett, cool. What do you, what do you, if you play anymore, what are you playing? I know I know you've been so busy. I was hooked on Ark for a long time. Yeah, I remember that. I still play. I've been watching a lot of Vikings. I'm getting caught up on Vikings. So, so you're not playing. Very true. Now, Very true. Yeah, so now every time. Uh, Valheim. Yeah, yeah. No, the uh, I play Blade and Sorcery. That's another VR game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, of course, Skyrim. But. Any newer games? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't really play newer games. Like I, maybe like I'll sit back. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. I know. Dude, I know it's oh yeah, older five, now. Dude, no, yeah, but it's still a good. I play that's that a good online. game. That's yeah. a good game. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for some heavy hitters. To uh, come out, though. Not not to cut everything short, but we do got to get through the set list. So I am gonna move on. Any last things about video games that you guys like? Anything you want to mention real quick? Halo and, Master Chief is yeah. always the OG. Oh yeah. Oh, but also oh, yeah. new new games right now. Escape from Tarkov. It's yeah, it gets a few years old, but it's a sweaty game for the PC players. If you ever want to check. It out. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Well, we're gonna move on from the games. Uh, I know we could talk all day on that. Oh, That's yeah. the thing about the, the, these topics that we're doing. We could talk. For hours on end, so we gotta. I hate to cut it off. Any last things though about that, guys? Any no. nope. honorable mentions, Tetris or anything? Or no? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, moving on. Next on the set list, we have. Oh, uh, real quick, I'll, I'll, I'll make it fast. Uh, my funny visit to Guitar Center yeah, Thursday yeah, morning. Yeah. I gotta tell a story. All right, so. Usually a funny story, I wouldn't make it a part of the set list because I could just say it randomly. But this has it has its own thing. I have to say. I told you, didn't I, Jay? Did yeah, I tell you, Brad? <laughs> no, I don't think uh, so. Brent doesn't know it. Okay, so here's a funny story. So Thursday, I uh, I just bought a new guitar, um, and it's a Flying V. It's an Epiphone, so the pickups on it aren't like top of the line. So I bought a um, I bought this um, Seymour Duncan humbucker pickup. And, and by the way, for anyone that doesn't know what a pickup is, on electric guitar, look under the strings where they strum. You see those two little. Uh, pods or whatever yeah. you want to call it, yeah. those things basically uh, take the uh, string signal and make it electric. So, anyways, but uh, so I, I wanted to install a new pickup on my guitar. So, when I ordered the Flying V guitar, the case went on back order, right? D- did you buy it from Guitar Center or Sweetwater? No, Z Zounds or Zounds. Okay. Zounds. So, okay. so I bought this Flying V guitar from Zounds, and what happened is. I got the, uh, the the case went on back horse, so they yeah. just gave me the guitar. So yeah. I'm like, anytime I go to practice or anywhere, I have to hold the guitar like like this. I can't put it, uh, I can't put it in, in anything, right? So what I've been doing is I've been walking around with it with a black sheet over it, right? Not so, suspicious. Yeah, it's not suspicious. You just see this long thing in my hands, and basically I am I'm holding this pretty sus something. Yeah, something that <laughs> like this, and it has a black sheet over it. So I decide that it's a good time to get my pickup change on my V. I don't have a case, so I'm gonna throw that black sheet over it. Oh, I walk, <laughs> I walk into Guitar Center with this guitar and the sheets over it. Now, can you imagine holding it like this? <laughs> what do people? Die? It didn't even cross my mind, dude. I walk into Guitar Center. I walk straight to the back where the guy does repairs, dude. I'm not making this up. The guy. There was no line. The guy There's saw never a, a line at Guitar Center. There's party. not. <laughs> yeah. the, the guy saw. The, he. I. I didn't. I didn't understand what's going on. I walked up like this, and I. I was holding it like a freaking machine gun, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. not kidding. Because because the way a V's shaped, yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, you gotta exactly. hold it like this. Yeah. <laughs> I walk up, and he, I just see in his face, he's like. <laughs> like, like he doesn't. Know, and I go. I'm like, oh yeah, I just want to install this. I just hold out the pickup, and I'm like, I'm looking at his face. I'm like, oh. I, I take the shot. Go, oh, it's my guitar, <laughs> and the guy's like, "Jesus, dude!" Like, he's like, "I'm like, oh my god, dude!" I felt so bad. I felt like I just brought, like they, like I could have got gunned down from yeah. someone. I imagine someone was concealed carrying, dude. Dude, dude I don't. Down. It was a guitar, but I, mean, I didn't think about it looking like it could have been a weapon yeah, under. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. he like he goes, "Bro," he's like, "I don't know if you had a gun or a scythe, <laughs> dude." Like, all I know is you were hiding something. I'm like, jeez. Were, were you mad that day? It's like if you had a. Tr- in like yeah, this? Yeah. It's yeah. Well, the way it's shaped, it may look, yeah, you hold like a gun. Um, anyways, it's like having a trench coat, and then you yeah, go, hey, yeah. and you go, whoa, you open it? 
Oh, I just want to give you something. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. the same concept. But anyways, the guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. The guy probably shit his pants. And yeah. um, I felt so bad, though. No, he was laughing afterwards. But I'm like, dude, I didn't even cross my mind. Like, like, I, I, usually, is, usually there's someone at the front door. Sometimes, yeah. Was there anyone there that time? No, no. everyone's Smart busy. Move. But I think it's <laughs> funny because me and Mark and Jay were joking. We're like, all of a sudden, like, like it just like breaks out. Someone gets on their phones, like oh, the news, active shooter <laughs> yeah. at Guitar Center. I'm like, what yeah. the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> White male, yeah, Mike Schoen, yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm like all over like yeah. CNN and like Fox. He told me to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, he said something about a pickup. I think he's picking up some drug yeah. dealers. Money. Or something. Money. Yeah. <laughs> Guitar slash singer from Twenty Two Salute. We're famous, dude. <laughs> we we We're made famous. we made the news. I knew it would happen one day. So basically, do not bring a guitar held Baptist. like this with a black sheet over it to Guitar Center. Yeah. And point and say, "Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> just don't I, do I that." Say I already knew that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> bro, I didn't even cross my mind having a black. Because yeah, well, guess I what? That's a that. good thing because that makes you know that I'm not planning on walking in anywhere <laughs> and doing it. Because I didn't even cross my mind. I was like, "Hey." No. Anyways, so I thought that was a funny story. It could have ended. It could have ended worse. Yeah, <laughs> that is good. But anyways, so anyways, guys, um, any anything you want to say about Guitar Center though? While we're on that, rest in peace. Honestly, I will be. Obviously, they're not doing too well, right? Like, they haven't been doing too well for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I am going to miss them if they leave because there are so many times where I'm like, oh, I need a pack of strings today. I need yeah. a microphone cable yeah, so, today. Yeah, I, I go there on deadlines. Like, yeah, I got yeah, Sam Ash yeah, is still yeah. open, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Sam Ash is yeah, yeah. I just don't go to Ontario. <laughs> yeah, there's a, yeah, it's a drive for me. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Guitar Center's right up the street. So Yeah. But that was sad. Cool. Well, anyways, yeah, so that was my story. Uh, usually I wouldn't make a story of an actual part of the set list. I'd just throw it in there randomly yeah, somewhere. But it was, it was cool enough to just do that. But anyways, uh, next on the set list, um, you know what that means? You told me like five minutes ago. I can't remember. <laughs> I, really, I really forgot. Brad, that means we are doing the brewery raid. Ah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so everyone at home, basically what this is is every episode we rate a local brewery. And with that, um, today we are rating King's Brewery. If I can get a um, in post production, if we can get the uh, logo here, King's Brewery. Um, they are here. They are in Upland. Actually, they're right down the road because we're on the border, almost by Upland. So, um, and w what we have from King's Brewery today is a beer called Fluffernutter. It's called Fluffernutter. And, you know, you, you can, you know, it can sound suggestive or it can sound cool. I don't know. Whatever. Don't, you know, we don't got to talk too much about the name. But anyways, if you can zoom in on this, got a cool little cat on there. I have a story for this real quick. Before we do the, the, the rate, um, there's a cat on there with a hat, backwards hat. That's a sick little kitty. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd be bros with that kitty. You see it? Okay. So anyways, so it's funny. When I went to buy this, I, I didn't know breweries closed at 9 a.m. I didn't know they what do you mean? No, brewer, I thought breweries were like kind of like bars, like they close at midnight, right? So I was setting up our podcast area here, and then also I'm like, oh, I'll go grab it because I have to buy the I had to buy the beer last night yeah. for today. And I know I am familiar with King's Brewery a little bit. Um, I know that they like sell these things out like immediately. You get that the bread? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they oh, were yeah, here. super cool. Here. I just I made it at the yeah, last. I don't want your shade. Dude, I made it last. Here, Jay. I made it like right up before they closed, yeah. like because I, I, because I, ha I couldn't get it this morning. You know they're not open, so good thing I got there last moment because I was thinking they were gonna be open till like midnight, and they're like breweries. I didn't know breweries closed so early. So, huh. anyways, so it's funny though when I, while I'm while I'm buying the beer, no joke, I see a, a, I, I look behind me while the guy is getting my stuff, and I see this cat walking on the ground inside. I'm like. And this cat looks like it's on its ninth life. Like, this cat yeah. does not look like it's living. I mean, I'm sure it's just an old cat, but yeah. I, this cat looks like it's about to croak. Anyways, I go, dude, is that, like, is that y'all's cat or is that, like, a cat that just strolled in here because they had, like, the doors open? Yeah, so, yeah. like, he goes, oh, no, that's the that's the house cat. He goes, actually, it's the cat on the can. <laughs> and so, Was it, did, what, it, did yeah. it, like, have the same color? Yeah, I look, I'm like, you, I'm like, damn, you're right. And it, that is, a, and it's named, and it has yeah. a little chain that says Buddha. So, that's the cat was Buddha. Yeah, He's that's like, yeah, cute. that's the cat. I'm like, oh, that's cool. It was a cute cat, but it yeah. was definitely an old cat. But yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty funny because I'm like, same. who's cat? Oh, it's on the can. So, anyways, um. So we're going to do this, guys. Fluffer uh, Nutter. This is uh, King's Brewery. This is a peanut butter stout, I believe. Nice. Uh, I'm excited, actually. Yeah. So I was not expecting um, that taste. Dude. <laughs> you did not start drinking. No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Brent, did you really? Nope. Let me see that. Let me see the can hole. No. 
<laughs> All right, you're fired. Get out of here. Worst couch contribute ever. Where's Oscar? Get Oscar back. We need a new couch contributor. Hey, go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay, so everyone crack it. Don't drink it yet. Brent. I, I didn't drink it. What are you talking about? You're like, oh, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> for, the, for the ASMR fans. Yep. Uh. Oh, ooh. Dude, ah. that microphone picks good. Hold on. We're going to try mine. Oh, that's great. It's all right. Jay? Oh, you yeah, already opened it. Do not drink it yet. Do we have rules. Several, Several directions, directions, people. Jesus. Oh, it smells I don't good. follow the okay. rules. Okay. Before, <laughs> before we drink it, I have to make wow. – you hear the noise. Once you hear it, then you can drink, okay? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're going to rate this 1 to 10. After the sound? Go. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. It's really sweet. Whoa. It's really sweet. I didn't expect that. That's like a peanut butter and it's jelly, like, dude. Uh, I, I want cereal. It tastes like a cereal. A certain cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, like more it has that like, almost like uh, Lucky Charms. Has a Lucky Charms taste. Oh, it has a marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I didn't. I, I was. I was it expecting really it more like a Guinness kind of. Mm -hmm. Wow. I prefer oh, uh, this. Oh, it does have jelly on it. Look. Oh, it has grapes on it. Look. The can does. That's a peanut butter and jelly. Um, Taste. It's like a mixture of grape juice with peanut butter. <laughs> wow. It's like pretty good. Breakfast. I like it. Yeah. It's like a breakfast drink. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Uh, but then again, there's grapes all over us. So I didn't even think about it. Wow. That's good. It has marshmallows on it too. The can. Yeah, very sweet. Whoa. Well, I've Fluffy been there. Butter. I've been there before. Uh, oh yeah. I haven't had this one. Whoa. But uh, but yeah, a lot of their beers. Um, actually, one of the bands, Blind Octavius, turned me on to them, and. Uh, yeah, they have like a lot of interesting beers, and they're all like, like it's it's, it's gonna sound terrible, but they're really good. But they they're very like juice inspired. Um, well, yeah, I like it. That's, no, I like it. It just wasn't what I was expecting mm -mm. <laughs> at all. Honestly, though, like like I said earlier, like I'm a child. I'd rather have a Dr Pepper than most beers. No. I like this because I could drink it. Now this is a beer, but like the liquid is. Grape looking purple. I didn't. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That threw me off too. Yeah, it's seven percent too. No, it's like. like well, oh look, the cat has a little stogie or something. Look. That's like good. <laughs> you see the cat holding like a. Yeah. Is that a, is that a joint or a cigar? Oh, it's a cigar for sure. I sure. <laughs> what are you asking? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> hey, Brent, <laughs> tell me about. No, I I know you don't do that. Yeah, and they are based out of Rancho, by the way. So, I thought it was Upland. Well, maybe it's just packed. Oh, it did say ranch. Yeah, yeah, it's Rancho. Yeah, but it is local. And it's seven so percent. Can go seven yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, anyways King, King Brewery, Brewery guys, um, uh, Fluffer Nutter. This mm -hmm. stuff actually is pretty, yeah, uh, pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like this. Yeah, that's Tasty. good. Okay, so on a one to ten, like I said uh, last last week, uh, I did a beer and we did. I think it was like a what was it, Anthony? Like six point five. 6.5, was it? Oh, was it? Okay. That was the average. So we're going to average this stuff up. It's, it's hard to say, though, because, like, what do you compare this to? Just, I don't know. Like just, we just make it up. Just, know, just rate it. It's for fun. This is Out of, I'll say for this one. For for brewery beers. How about that? Brewery beers in general. I'm going to give this flavor. Hmm, it's tough, man. I, I'm going to say a 7.5. Okay. 8. That's actually really good. Yeah, I'm gonna like give it a seven and a half, eight, because there's a lot of uh, of notes in this yeah. this flavor, but they do have a really good. Uh, all their frosés are amazing. Those are really okay, good. This, okay, this okay, seven point five for you. I'll give, I'll give, seven, seven I'll give it like eight point five. Ooh, yeah. Brent, um, I mean, I'm not typically a beer drinker, and that actually I could see myself drinking, so I'd probably give it a seven. Okay, seven. I am going to go with a, an eight. Because I actually really like this. It wasn't what I expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's really good. Um, so uh, 31 divided by 4. I'm a smart boy. Uh, 7.75. Ready? 7 and 3 quarters. Right 7.75. Where, where are we getting at right here? 7.75, baby. That is the uh, – what's that? Oh, shit. <laughs> did you touch it? I did. He touched it. What beer are wait, you going to chug? Wait, wait. Did you, like, tap it or what? I knew the camera wasn't going to be looking at me. No, what'd you do, though? You Did you rub it? I just went like this. I was like, they're not looking. Okay. <laughs> He's like, it's not oh, Were you malicious in intent? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jay was like, when the camera was on, he goes, it's naughty time. It's he started naughty rubbing time. the stick, dude. <laughs> okay, so anyways, 7.75. 7 
Um, and uh, that was a good beer, actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually when I asked the guy, I said, "Hey, we're gonna be rating your your beer." He goes, um, "He goes, okay." He goes, uh, "Well, this is the beer you want to rate." I'm like, "Okay," and he's right. It's good. Mm. I do get worried when I hear peanut butter beers because they're usually super dark, and I don't, I don't have anything against dark beer, but. I feel like the peanut butter never comes out. It's like a coffee. Yeah, yeah. And it gets like that soy sauce flavoring. Yeah. With like darker beers sometimes. But there's like a lot of flavors in this thing. Yeah, I could taste. It's like the marshmallow, like aftertaste. Like through your sinuses, you get the peanut butter and then you get the the jelly flavor. Wow. Do you have to get the marshmallow flavor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has that like lucky... Lucky, lucky charms. charms. Really? That's it. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pulling the lucky yeah. charms from that, but that's just my. I'm favorite. pulling a cereal. You guys ever have crave? I have a big nose. Yeah, so. yeah. It smells like crave. Yeah. Crave the um, not the cho- not the double chocolate, or but even the, like um, wheat thins. It kind of has like a little bit. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. That's crazy. I like it. Okay, so awesome. Um, Kings Brewery. Thank you so much, guys. Check them out here in Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, Fluffer Nutter. All right, so moving on. Um, Basically, guys, we're at the closer. So basically, what we're gonna do is just we're gonna talk about what's next for everybody. Yeah. And then we'll sign off with the rock oath. Um, I'll go ahead and just start with me real fast, and then we'll get on. Uh, I'm basically just doing this, 22 salute, living the dream, and that's enough for me. Brad, what are you doing, man? Yep, busy recording. Um, if anyone needs to come record or mix or anything like that, hit me up on Instagram, Birdberry Music. Birdberry, that's B-E-R-D. Or you yeah. can put it on a – we'll get a lower third there. Yeah, but okay. B-R-D. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, hit me up. Yeah, Brad's a man. Uh, Jay, uh, what's going on with you? And uh, did you touch the – Wait, wait, at the end. No, no, I told him if he gets to this point, he can do it. Go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Now he gets to do it. Play. All right. All right. You There's get not it. too much room, but I can still. I heard it makes a really cool sound if you smack the mic. <laughs> <laughs> not me, the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? Yep. There All right, you go. Jay, go on the. Just do your thing. Oh, there you go. Nah, he's been itching to do this the whole entire, uh, the whole entire show. So. <laughs> Paradiddle. And Jay was in marching band too. Let me, so. let me Bleed quantize by it. Meshuggah. Bleed by my sugar. Yeah, let me quantize it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is that on time? Can we get a click here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you and Jay. There That's you what so. Jay's doing. <laughs> That's all in my head. Okay, and then Jay. Oh, by the way, what, what? Anything new with you? Any plugins you want to tell everybody? What do you guys say? Before we're out. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm just Jay. Just Jay, really? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I do have a couple plugins. I'll say after this. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, Brent. What do you guys want to tell the the viewers before we head out? Ah, oh, man, you know, I'm just hanging out, working, you know, trying to make some money, you know, pay the bills. You still, but, you still metalhead, right? Oh yeah, I'm still metalhead. All things metal, you know, all genres. Do of metal. you still work on the sh- the corner of Baseline at like twelve at night? Do you still work over there? <laughs> yeah, he does. That's a <laughs> sh- that's a side job, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. you didn't know that? Oh, hey, oh, not paying taxes for it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. What's that? It's like shh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, we can switch it up here. Oh, okay, getting blue. Uh, well, yeah, and then Brent's a great guy, one of my best buys. Great saxophone player, by the way. Um, yeah, I wish you should have brought your sax. That would have been actually pretty cool. Yeah. Man, we missed out on that. What? Feature feature one day. What? <laughs> well, he plays sax. Yes. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ryan, one of our one of our techs likes to get sexy. <laughs> Careless whisperer. Gets getting sexy. I don't know, man. Listen, Brent's like, I like, I like, I like when things get sexual. Sexual. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. So, I like when guys, uh, Rock Oath right? episode two. Real quick before I go, I just want to say, um, uh, we did, um. I want to do a plug in real quick. Uh, there's a company called um, Pixel Density, but they also have a, I would guess, a sub company or in relation. It's called The Den. Uh, this is out of San Diemens. This is a virtual, a virtual music venue. And so basically, um, with the pandemic, this is kind of what it's produced. But and this, this isn't, um, this isn't a concert experience to replace live shows. This is an alternative concert experience. So even when the pandemic is over, um, The Den will continue with online shows and they do such a great job um we actually played with them one time last year and we led screens multiple camera views great live show all professional crew um and uh basically uh bands are every week they have a show and it's a four dollar subscription a month and you get to see a show basically every every friday night um and the crew there is great 
Um, actually, um, Anthony and our boy Ryan here, they actually work on the crew for Pixel, uh, excuse me, for the Den. Um, and they, they do a tremendous job, and we're so grateful to have them. Thank you guys again. Um, Thank you. Yeah, they get that thumb in there. Anthony, get, there you go. He, and, um, but, uh, yeah, but, and also the plug that I was going to say is uh, if – I don't know if this episode will air by April 9th, but 22 Salute, Jay, we have a show there. Yeah. So, y'all subscribe. We have a link. Just hit us up online. We got a cool a cool show to perform for you on April 9th at the Den, um, and there will be many bands after us. And, yeah, it's pretty cool pretty cool stuff. So right. check them out. Actually, and I think um, Justin, the owner, I think I'm going to have him on the show uh, soon. So at least as soon as possible. So, but anyways, yeah. So everybody, that is the Rock Oath cool. episode two. Yeah, we got it. Any bad. last words? And uh, if not, we're gonna close out. Did I break? Did I make you nervous, Brad? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to wood being near my face, so. We know. Oh, no. oh, oh god. god. Okay. Hey everybody, whoa, 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 whoa. thanks for watching. Y'all stay real. Uh, see you next episode. Have a good one, Rock Oath. Cool.